consequences of a bad confession, eternal hell, sin of omission. The omission of sins in confession is equivalent to a mortal sin against the Eighth Commandment. It is lying to Jesus, our just judge, who listens to our sins through the confessor, to accept our pain of having offended him and thus forgiving us. The following is a testimony taken from the straight and sure way to heaven by St. Anthony Mary Claret, where he narrates the condemnation for a bad confession. Sixth example of a lady who for many years kept silent in confession about a dishonest sin. St. Alphonsus Ligori reports, and more particularly Father Antonio Carroccio, that the religious passed through the country where this lady lived, and she, who was always waiting for a foreign confessor, begged one of them to hear her confession, and she went to confession. After the fathers had left, the companion told the confessor that he had seen that while the lady was going to confession, many snakes were coming out of her mouth, and that an enormous snake had let its head be seen outside. But again, it had turned back inside, and then he saw all the snakes that had come out coming in after her. Suspecting what that meant, the confessor returned to the village and to the house of that lady, and they told him that the moment he entered the room, she had died suddenly. For three consecutive days, they fasted and prayed to God for her beseeching the Lord to make this case known to them. On the third day, the unhappy lady appeared to them, condemned and mounted on a demon in the form of a horrible dragon, with two serpents coiled around her neck, which choked her and ate her breasts, a viper on her head, two toads in her eyes, flaming arrows in her ears, flames of fire in her mouth, and two rabid dogs biting and eating her hands, and giving a sad and dreadful moan, she said, I am the unfortunate lady you confessed three days ago. As I was confessing my sins, they came out of my mouth like unclean animals, and thus make that your companion so sticking his head out and turning inside was a figure of a dishonest sin. I wanted to confess it with you, but I didn't dare to do so. That's why he went back inside, and with him all the others that had come out. God, tired of waiting for me so long, suddenly took away my life and hurled me into hell, where I am tormented by demons in the form of horrible animals. The viper torments my head because of my pride and too much care in arranging my hair. The toes close my eyes because of my lascivious looks the flaming arrows hurt my ears, for having listened to obscene whisperings, words and songs. Fire burns my mouth for the murmuring and clumsy kisses. I have the snakes cold to the neck that eat my breasts, for having worn them in a provocative way for the low cut of my dresses and for the dishonest embraces. Dogs eat my hands for my bad deeds and ugly touches. But what torments me most is the formidable dragon on which I am mounted, which scorches my entrails, and it is in punishment for my impure sins. Ah, there is no remedy nor mercy for me, but torments and eternal punishment. Woe to women, she added, for many of them are condemned for four kinds of sins, for sins of impurity, for finery and adornment, for sorcery, and for keeping silent of sins in confession. Men are condemned for all kinds of sins, but women chiefly for all four. Having said this, the earth opened, and the wretched woman sank to the depths of hell, where she suffers and will suffer for an eternity. Mm -hmm.